Good morning. Good morning, kids. Good morning again. Good morning. All right. You know, I'm really excited to have you all here. I know I was talking to some of you, and you've come from places like Salinas. It's been a fair uh, drive up here. I guarantee you, you're going to have a real, real fun day here. So on behalf of Broadcom, I'd like to welcome you to Design, Code, Build. Now, what I'd like to tell you about a little bit is about my own experience as an engineer. Yeah, this is about why are we doing this program. Okay, we want to get you kids excited about math, science, engineering. They're great choices. You can do great things with them. So I'll tell you a little bit about my own experiences as an engineer, what got me interested in it. I'll tell you a little bit about Broadcom, okay, and talk about how we are changing the world at Broadcom and how you see that. And then talk to you a little bit about what you can expect today from the rest of the day. Okay, so let me tell you about a little bit about myself. Okay, I've been an engineer now for 30 plus years, mostly doing what's called communications engineering. And I'll tell you how I got started in this thing. I grew up in India. Okay, how many of you know India? Anybody? All right, lots of people, good. My dad worked for the train company. You know, trains aren't as popular here. But over in India, by the way, trains are everywhere. How many of you have actually been on a train? See, not too many. Some of you have been on trains. When I was growing up, I was on a train all the time. We kept moving places to places. And I got, my dad was what's called a civil engineer. You know, he built, you know, the train tracks. He built bridges. He built tunnels. He uh, built uh, railway stations. And then, of course, I also got fascinated about how these things were built and also about how these trains themselves worked. You know, isn't it amazing how you can get a train to go down a track at really high speeds? When I grew up, you know, the, the trains were driven by a steam engine, okay? The locomotive was a steam engine. And the way that worked was you would burn coal, okay? Heat up water, water would become steam and the pressure from the steam would actually drive the wheels of the locomotive. I, as a kid, by the way, and this was as an elementary school kid, I was fascinated by that. You know, lots of things you could do. In fact, when we would travel, you know what? We didn't have running hot water like you are used to today. The way we would get hot water was from that locomotive because it would be heating up water anyway. Okay. As I grew up, those steam locomotives got replaced by diesel locomotives. And that's much like how cars are powered today. Okay, you have gasoline and diesel powered cars today. In fact, the school buses that many of you came on were probably powered by a diesel engine. And then later on, the trains became electric, right? They were run by electricity. And today, you have electric cars out here. So as a kid growing up, I was absolutely fascinated by how all of this stuff worked. And always asking these questions, right? I would actually bug my dad and, you know, tell me how this works, tell me how that works. And you know what? Science explains the world right around you. It tells you how things work. And then when I got into, I should say, probably more high school and started thinking about what was I going to do, it, it just was very, very natural for me to think about, well, when I go to college, maybe I want to be an engineer because I want to figure out how to build things, how to construct things, how to make things world, work. And I ended up going into electrical and computer engineering back then. After my undergraduate degree, I came to this country, I came to the U.S., and then, you know, I did graduate work and ended up becoming a communications or networking engineer, which I still am to this day. Now, you're probably sitting there wondering, as, as a middle school kid here, what is this communications engineering about? And, you know, what is all this stuff about? And let me try and explain that to you. So how many of you guys have one of these? Okay, a few of you. How many of you know what this is? All right, tell me, what is this? It's an iPhone? iPhone what? <laughs> iPhone 6. This is an iPhone 6. Okay. Well, how many of you use computers every day in your lives? Everybody, right? Everybody uses a computer. Now, let's talk about what you do on these things. Okay. What do you do on a phone? Anybody? Yeah? You call people. All right. What else do you do on a phone? Yeah. Play apps. Yeah, you play apps. You play games. All right. What else do you do? 
Text. A lot of you kids are doing text messaging. Well, there's one more guy there. Okay, what do you do on a phone? All right, you surf on the internet. Okay, now think about everything that you're doing on that phone, everything that you talked about. You talked about talking to people, you talked about texting, you talked about playing games, okay? You talked about searching the internet, going to Google. Every one of those is about the phone or you dealing and talking to somebody else. Okay, you're talking to your friend on the phone or texting. You're on, maybe on Facebook. You're accessing information from the internet. Now, the key thing is that stuff ain't on your phone, okay? It's not here. It's somewhere out there. And you're getting that connection between this phone or your computer and whatever is on the other side. That is what communication is all about. That's what networking is all about. If you look at everything you do today, it's about getting information from anywhere you want, whether you're playing, whether you're working, whether you're studying, okay? And making it accessible, right? You can get on this little phone today, you can do a lot of stuff. Now at Broadcom, this is what we do. We connect things together. We build chips that connect things together. Now, chi by chips, I don't mean potato chips that you eat. I mean semiconductor chips. So let me ask you a more sophisticated question here. So inside this phone, there is something called Wi-Fi. Anybody know what Wi-Fi is here? Yeah. Wow, lots of people here know what Wi-Fi is. Tell me, one of you tell me, what's Wi-Fi? Can't hear you. Let's you use the internet, absolutely. Wi-Fi is how you connect this phone, okay, to the internet. That's how you get information. Wi-Fi is everywhere. Wi-Fi is on the phone. Wi-Fi is on your computer. It's everywhere. And you know what? Broadcom does that chip that provides the Wi-Fi connection inside this phone. So, in fact, if you go to the web and search for what's inside this phone, when you open it up, people call them teardowns, you're going to see a whole bunch of chips very, very tightly packed together. That's what you'll see inside. And we do a lot of that stuff, right? Now, let's look at the other side. How many of you have done a Google search? Everybody, pretty much. Lots of people have done a Google search. And guess what? What does Google do? They have tons and tons of computers inside their data centers. And when you search for something, okay, what you do is it goes, that, that search query, you know, say, hey, well, you know, t tell me about my friend, Tom. Well, that goes to Google, and Google searches that through, right, along all those computers, and then they send information back to you. All the communication, all the connectivity is, is what we do as a company. It's fascinating stuff, and it's changing the world. Right? The internet has changed the world. Now, this is some of the things that you can do as an engineer. Okay? As an engineer, you can change the world. So as you think about, you know, you're still in middle school, you guys have a long way to go here. But let me tell you something. One of the most satisfying careers you can have is as an engineer. Okay? So get interested in math and science. You can change the world. Look at how many things have come out, right? The smartphone, the computer, the internet, a zillion things. Engineers have built these things around you. And you can build them too. Think big. Think about your dreams. Dream big and you're gonna have a lot of fun doing it. Now today, as you look at the day to day, you're gonna be playing around. You're gonna be playing around with a computer called Raspberry Pi, a little thing, right? And it's actually based on, again, another Broadcom chip, and you're gonna be playing around with it, and you're gonna actually be doing some coding on it. And don't worry, those of you guys who haven't done any coding, not to worry. Part of the real world experience is that one of the things you'll see is most things weren't done by one person. Most of these great things that you see around you were built by teams of people working together. And one of the interesting experiences for you today is how are you going to work together in teams, working together with people to get things done. So think about that as well, right? In the real world, you guys go off and study, whether it's in college, you're going to be doing a lot of group projects. As you go to work, eventually you're going to be doing a lot of group projects. So working with teams, feel free to talk to other people, learn from them, and follow your dreams. So thank you. Have a fun day today, guys. Thank you.